Hi everybody, welcome to Petra's Happy Place. Boy, it feels like a hot minute since I've been recording, doing something on this end, and it feels pretty darn good. I've missed you guys. So, um, I have placed, in the last week and a half, I've placed four orders. Yeah, I know. I Maybe I shouldn't have, but I don't care because I am excited about seeing everything. Oh, I got my first one today, so I wanted to share it with you. This is a new line that I've um, come across, and I think I'm really going to like this line. First of all, I apologize for this. This is... <laughs> you know that in between stage there's like one little piece that isn't long enough to put behind my ear yet I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go ahead and have it redone cut it I don't know what I'm going to do yet we'll see anyway that's not why we're here Ta -da! I got a big box and it's from now it's from Hirschner's because that's where the um, the yarn is manufactured. I get, well, not manufactured, but that I ordered it from Willow Yarns, but I guess it's like the clearing house, you know? So now I have to tell you guys something. This is going to be the first time I believe other than my very first ice yarns haul. This is the first time that I have ever opened a box and shown you guys like as I'm doing it. Usually, you know me, I don't like surprises. So I didn't, I don't usually want to do that. So I got my knife. Yes, this is happening. Oh. Okay, I want to put it up here for now. Okay, so I can open it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? Like I said, this is, I have not, I've never ordered this yarn before. Okay. And I'm so excited because I have been eyeballing this yarn or this line for quite some time. And, uh, yeah, I finally just took the plunge. There was a reason, and we'll you'll figure out that reason in the in the coming months. But okay, let's see here. Um, most of it is on sale. Let me see if they have. It doesn't say if it was on sale or not. But we'll go over it together. Okay. First of all, we don't need paper. That was free. I bet I didn't have to pay a single penny for that. Oh my goodness. They're so pretty. Oh my word. Oh guys, I'm so excited. Okay, what to start with? What to start with? Okay. I'll start with this. Look. Oh, and that's a pretty good true to color right there. Okay, so maybe my camera's going to behave and it's, everything's going to be true to color. This is called, okay, I'm going to go like so. Wait, I got to, y'all, I fell yesterday. I fell. And yesterday I was feeling really lousy. Today, I'm feeling even worse. <laughs> and it's all settled in my shoulder and my upper arm. My whole upper arm is completely sore. So doing anything with it. And then my shoulder back here, my shoulder blades. So any kind of action has to be done here. So I'm going to show you that. And then I'm going to read the deets, okay? It's called Willow Quest. Okay, and it is three and a half ounces, 462 yards or 420 meters, um, 50 superwash merino, 
25 nylon and 25 bamboo. It is, oh man, and it doesn't say. <sighs> you know, that's one thing that bothers me about yarn companies that they don't write what um, uh, weight it is. But this, this is going to be a one weight. Uh, I'm fairly certain that's going to be a, a one. Um, because you're using a 3.75 or an F5 hook. Uh, maybe they considered a two weight. I don't know, but boy, is it soft. It it feels like um it feels like a cotton like a cotton blend i don't feel merino in it well maybe a little bit but it's just gorgeous there's a slight halo let's see here you can see it just a slight halo not a whole lot oh so I got two of those. What is the colorway on this? Flamingo. Flamingo. <laughs> I like that word. Flamingo. Anyway, so two of them. And uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, I only got two. So that's a total of um, 900... 924 yards, 924 yards. So a little less than a thousand yards, but that will make, you know, that would make a cute little tank for the summertime. I think that'll make a cute little tank. So excited. Now, remember I had promised myself and all of you that I would buy no 100% acrylic wool. So none of this is 100% acrylic. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so here is another one of those Willow Quests in another colorway. This colorway is called... Da, 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 da. Okay, wait a minute, where'd it go? Grasshopper. Grasshopper. And that is the color right there. Grasshopper. And I thought... Wouldn't those look pretty together? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I got another one. No, I got another one of these. Oh, I got two more. Uh, let's see here. Here's another one. It's like a fuchsia pink, and this one's called Viola. Viola. Isn't that pretty? And again, how pretty would those be together, right? Right? And that color, the, the, I mean, the, um, the blend, guys, Superwash Merino, Nylon, and Bamboo, that is a really, and oh, price, price for these. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Quest. All right, wait a second. Quill. Quest, quest, quest. Quest, quest. Flamingo. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, I know that this was four eighty nine a skein. To me, that's an amazing price. I don't, I can't, like I said, I can't remember if it was on sale or not, but $4.69 for 50% super wash. Then also you got some bamboo in there. I like that. Okay. This is really bothering me that I don't know. Now this grasshopper here, this was also $4.89. And I'm trying to find this one. Flamingo is, oh, here it is. Yeah, 489. So all these were 489 each. Okay. Oh, oh, so now what? Okay. This one 
is called, uh, let's see here, Willow Verbena. Verbena. Okay. And look at that. Oh, I'm loving this. Now, this colorway is called Al Allium. A L L. Well, here it's spelled A L L M I U M. Almium. But on the paper and in the book, it was Allium. And I got three of them. And let me now read to you what it's all about. Oh, that's got beautiful colors. Okay, so it's 75 superwash wool and 25 nylon. It's a number three, but my, no, uh-uh. That is not a three. That might be a two with enough halo possibly to make a to make a one. I mean, to make a three, but that is not, in no way, shape, or form, is that a three. Mm -mm. That might be a one with some fur on it. <laughs> a one with fur, or a two with fur. But isn't that pretty? Okay, I'm sorry, here, I gotta tell you. Uh, so, it's um, three and a half ounces, 370 yards, and... It says it's a number three. It's not. It's made in China. Um, and this other one was made in Turkey. This one's made in China, but it definitely has a halo on there. Let me see here. You can, yeah, there you go. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that is just beautiful. Oh, okay, so each one of these was four seventy nine, so they were a little bit less than these, but um, still, I think they're worth it. You know how what I think about it is that it's worth it if you're willing to pay for it, you know. And look at that; so you've got the little the the starting pull right there. So you wouldn't even have to stretch for it. Okay. So again, that's Willa, Willow Verbena. And then I got another Willow Verbena. Oh, oh gosh, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Now I know Laura, Mad Mamie's Crochet and Farming, it's got a lot of green. So I know you won't like it. But it's got some, uh, like an ink and a dark denim blue in there, too. And, oh, that's just so beautiful. And the colorway of this is called Evergreens. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. That would go. Ah, yeah. Oh. Now, see, for me, this is also very, now, it's not... It's not very scarfable, but I mean, I know a lot of people wouldn't like it just because it has wool in it, but I wouldn't mind wearing that. That would be amazing. Oh, well, so that's, that's that. Okay. So now, oh guys, ah, these are so beautiful. Okay. I'm going to have to hide them. Okay. okay, so I got three of these. Oh, they're called Willow Yarns Wheels. Look at how pretty. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to hold that up. Just know I got two of those, okay? This one's got um, uh, like a dark salmon and a peachy, a couple different turquoise, and it's got, like, it almost borders on, well, it's a sand color, but it might have the, a little teeny bit of peach in it, but it's like a sand color, okay? And this colorway is called Kingfisher. Isn't it gorgeous? Hey, it matches. 
<laughs> okay, so let me tell you about this one. It is, uh, make sure you can see that. It is 4.9 ounces, 139 grams, 377 yards, 345 meters. Um, it is made in China. It is 70 acrylic, 30 wool. And it's classified as a number three. And this one is definitely a three. Yeah, that is more a three. But, oh, look at that. Now, all of these, well, um, I'm just trying to see here. So, all of these, it looks like, um, no. All the ones I've already shown you, all of these and the skeins, those are all machine wash cool lay flat to dry okay but these these that have the wool and the nylon oh these are so soft and squishy i mean they're so squishy watch you can i mean press it down into almost nothing oh it's so squishy um these are hand wash lay flat to dry so I got this color, that's the Kingfisher. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, if you know me, oh, let me tell you the price first. Let me tell you the price. These were $3.99 each. $3.99 for 300, how many did I say? 377 yards. Oh, guys, I am in love with this. I mean, I saw it in the book and it was gorgeous, but seeing it in person. Oh, look at that. To me, okay, wait a minute. What's it called? Because I bet it's called this. Yeah, I knew it had to be. Because doesn't that look like pansies? And that's the name of it, pansy. Oh, it is so gorgeous. And I got three of these gorgeousnesses. They're so beautiful. Okay, now the colors of this one go from this lavender and the lilac color. And then this medium tone is more like a periwinkle blue. And it, But it goes together so well. And then there's like a... Uh, a very light yellow, very light, and then you've got a lemon yellow. Oh, guys, are these not gorgeous or what? Look at these. Oh, they're, and they're just, okay, look, I'm going to do this. That tells you how squishy they are. They're just so squishy. This is fun. We get to see it all together. These are def this is definitely scarfable. Oh, it is so soft. Okay. So then the next ones are called quill. Okay, these are willow quill. And I I wanted to um I wanted I've been wanting to I've been looking at these and I've been wanting to try them. And um, this is what it looks like, Willow Quill. Here's the first color. And uh, let me tell you about this. It is 1.75 ounces, 230 yards. It is 50 acrylic, 25 um, superwash merino, and 25 alpaca. Made in Turkey. So I got two of this colorway, which is honey. Yep, that's a honey color. That is definitely honey. Oh, and it is so soft, you guys. I'm definitely getting more of this. Oh, what it's saying that it is a... 
three. Well, it's blended together. I don't know if that's a two. Yeah, it's a two. But man, that's a three. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to show you guys. It's, it's, well, it's not, to me, it's, it's not a, a two. That's, a, that's closer to a three, especially if you want to put the halo on it. But, oh, guys, that is super, super soft. Oh. You know, I've been having a rough couple days. Yesterday when I got home after my, after my fall, I came home. I got my favorite hook out and my favorite Chris and Om doll, Be So Baby yarn, and I just started crocheting. I couldn't, I, I had to, that was my comfort, but now, oh my goodness, this, this is comfort, this is like, this is like, uh, oh, like marshmallows, they're so light and airy and fluffy, so I got two of the honey, oh. and two of this color, um, this is, what colorway is this? Viola. Viola. Oh. I'm, de oh, I'm definitely getting more of that. I did, I wasn't sure if it was, the, see, you know, some of these yarns, you know, until you feel them and you know what they're like, and here's this turquoise, again, that is a perfect match. This is called um, Robin's Egg. So there you go. That's a Robin's Egg. Um, yeah, sometimes, you know, you... That is not the same color. That is not the same color. lot 1602 and this is 1601 they're two different dye lots i cannot believe it just look they're not the same color this one is significantly darker than this bummer well maybe i'll just have to order more <laughs> maybe i'll find a match but anyway um this would make, oh, an amazing sweater. Oh, that would make an amazing sweater. And for 200 yards, wait a minute, 200, 230 yards. Now, each one of these, guys, each one of these was... Well, wait a minute. Well, they're two different colors. This is turquoise. And this is robin's egg. Why didn't they give me... Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> anyway, all I was going to say was sometimes you just have to get a couple of them to see what they're like, to, you know, before you order, like, a larger amount to make something but what I did was in getting all of these I tried to get a little bit of everything so that even if I didn't get enough of one to make a project like like all of these well hold on all of these I could put together to make a top if I wanted to say, I mean, I could, I could put all those together to make a top. And, um, so that would give me at least five, no, five, a thousand yards to make something, you know? And so, yeah, that's the way I wanted it to work. Oh, yeah. I am so excited about this guys. Oh, I have been wanting to try all these yarns. Now, of, of all of them, 
vis verbena, willow verbena, that is the um, superwash wool and nylon. These are probably the least soft of all of them. But still, I think they'd make a really great, um, and because they're a lightweight, I mean, meaning like the, the weight, the it's so thin of a yarn, I bet the drape would be amazing on it with a larger hook. Would make a, wouldn't that make a great wrap or a really large shawl? Now, see, here's the thing. This is what I'm discovering, and, and maybe this is something that you already know, or maybe I've already mentioned it before. But when you're making a project and you're wanting to use yarns like this, make sure you do a, a simpler um, stitch or stitch pattern because you want to highlight the colors. Same with something like, <clears throat> excuse me, something like these. You want to highlight the colors. But if you've got a really intricate, neat stitch pattern, use something that's in a solid because it will really make the pattern pop. <clears throat> I'm sure you guys already know all that but I am so excited to start working these up <sighs> and I just can't yet <laughs> I have got several projects that I've got to finish I've just got to finish I'm trying to make room in my whip cart I don't want to have to buy another whip cart <laughs> to put my whips in besides um, having these on my shelf which I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put them. I've got some room over there that I think I might make room for everything. But, um, yeah, um, having them on my shelf, I think, is going to help me um, get inspired to find just the right project for these. <gasps> oh, my, I just thought of something. I don't know. I can't remember how much, but I know Teresa from um, um, Craving Crochet. She's doing a Vintage Wednesday, and there's a pattern that she is going to do. She's already sent it to me, and it is a dress, a 1970s dress, and it looks amazing. And I'm thinking that color would look stunning. I might have to just get more. Because I know she it the pattern calls for a, a four weight. So maybe if I put these two together, that would be weight enough. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so let me go over the names of these again, okay? So... These are Willow Quest, and they are uh, Merino Nylon Bamboo. Then these are uh, 75 nylon, uh, uh, wool, 25 nylon, and these are called Willow Verbena. Then these color wheels, these are uh, Willow Yarns wheels that's all they're called is wheels and then these are willow quill and these of all of them i believe are the thickest this is a three weight and i think this is probably well this is a three weight as well but um this is just oh like a cloud quill 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 and I know that these all had a lot of other colorways. Oh, in case I didn't tell you, these were $2.39. And I'm pretty sure that these were the ones that were on sale uh, when I got them. Oh, guys, I am just so excited. Um, I've got um, a haul from Lion Brand, and I've got one from Love Crafts. And I believe both of those have things in them, items in them that I've never used before. 
Um, in fact, I know Lion Brand, I, I got the hand, hand dyed one. And then I'm also, I order from Amazon a new organizational thing. I've got bookcases over here that I'm going to hand down to Mr. Happy for his books. And I'm going to redo, again, <laughs> redo my yarn space. And uh, I'm excited about that because I will probably uh, do all that, put it all together and sort out all the yarns and everything with you guys. I'm not, I don't know if I'll do a live or how I want to do that, but I will probably be doing that. So it's exciting. Okay, guys, I have talked your ear off enough about this little bit of yarn, but I am excited. I hope you can hear the excitement in my voice. <laughs> so I go, got, blah, 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 I'm all tongue tied. Um, I hope you guys have a great, great rest of your week and weekend. Um, Today is the 21st of January, uh, 2021, in case you're watching this way after it's been released. Um, and I hope you have a great one. We'll talk to you later. Bye.